guys, so this is a closer look at the Longhorn interior that I just drove up to Ottawa to pick up. So this interior came out of a 2012 Ram 2500 and uh, I saw it on Facebook Marketplace and they had it listed the whole set for 1500 bucks. So if any of you guys are watching, uh, $1,500 for a Longhorn interior is crazy. Um, even if it was beat up, people would still spend that. But this interior is arguably one of the best I've seen. Um, starting at the bottom here, you can just see the, I guess like an older guy owned this truck, but there's no stains or anything. This is the uh, rear seat we're looking at right here. And you can see the stitching. So obviously we have the Longhorn patterns, the badging here, um, the headrests, like everything is exactly how it would be factory. Um, like just everything on this you can tell it hasn't been hardly used obviously it's a little dirty from sitting out in the scrapyard but uh this is the one rear seat we're looking at here over here this is the other rear seat uh same thing guys like there's not even any wear marks even on the seats where you like the bottom part of the seat the corners everything uh even this guy here for your under seat storage like even the mounts where it bolts in it's not rusted like they look like they just got pulled right out of the truck um and then these are the fronts so we're looking at the driver here yeah obviously we got a bit of wear here but there's a lot that's actually made um to kind of age and not rip or tear um with the longhorns here so it's kind of made to weather a bit like this so it'll actually get a little bit lighter um and then this is the passenger the craziest thing is this is still the original leather care guide um, from 2012 when this truck was made and this is what it would come with so on the back you can see uh, Welcome to the new standard of luxury trucks Congratulations on the purchase of your Ram Laramie Longhorn Edition equipped with full gray natural plus genuine leather provided by DST Auto Leather So just tells you how to condition it and care for the leather, but yeah, this is the original tag still wrapped on the uh, seat which is the craziest thing to me um, so that's the seats and not only did I get the seats, but they gave me the whole center console. Um, so we got a bunch of tools and a bunch of stuff on it because we work in the garage here on all the parts. But um, yeah, original Longhorn interior. Um, and this is the Laramie. So we have the heated rears, which my truck already did in the first place. But um, it's nice. This is a matching set and console. So going to switch up the theme. Going to have some beige in the truck with the black. It's going to look really nice. Uh, and then we also got the original Laramie Longhorn mats. So the full set and the dealer literally, or the auto recycler literally just threw those in for me um, since we made the six hour drive to uh, Ottawa and back. So um, crazy, crazy deal. I've been on Marketplace in Kijiji for years looking at truck parts, buying and selling. And I know what these interiors are worth. And I've never ever seen a deal like this come up. So that's why I said we're driving to Ottawa in the truck and we picking it up right away so um 1500 bucks i got the seats in the console and then for another 100 bucks they gave me the um dash like the uh the screen bezel uh, we got that all of the ram um longhorn door trims where you step in like the uh foot plates uh for all four and then also got the longhorn glove box uh, i'll show you guys the headliner that we're working on and then all of our trim plastics and the current state of the truck. All right, guys, so we're in the garage here. Um, start off, we got all the plastics stripped out of the truck and these are gonna be all black. So that's gonna be today's project. And then this is the headliner and this is all of the uh, new material we put on. So this is actually suede and it's just from Amazon. And uh, I just went right over top of the original headliner. Some guys scrape it off. Some guys um, just go right over top and it worked out well. Uh, so you can see we got the speakers put back in. These are just the hooks for the back. Um, our light, our DVD player is just sitting on here for now because it actually gets uh, screwed to the roof of the truck because it's so heavy. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the sunroof cutout. Kind of made a mistake on the left there. I had to add a piece in. So not the best so when you are cutting this out make sure you leave it enough to overlap it or to go underneath um i didn't on that side because i rushed it so don't do what i did 
but uh, this is the black headliner so looks way better I'll put some uh, photos up of what it looked like before but it's essentially this color uh, and it was all water stained so since all this was out of the truck for the water issue anyway uh, I figured I might as well just get the material so this was around 115 bucks Canadian shipped uh, from Amazon and then for the adhesive I just got this 3M headliner I use probably about two cans and these are the tall cans so if you are in Canada and you are going to get this probably just two cans for a crew cab headliner um, I got four cans and you definitely do not need that much um, so anyway we're going to go ahead and uh, prep up this area and then we're going to start uh, getting these ready for um, doing an adhesion uh, promoter first and then we'll be doing the black trim, uh, trim paint on all of these. weekend uh, worked on the truck it's about minus 8 here today um, we do have a little heater in here working so it's all right uh, we do have the headliner in uh, so this is what it looks like I'll show you guys more in detail um, how it turned out but um, I still have to put the head unit in here um, because this plastic piece you have to put in first so it's kind of hard to line everything up um, not fun not a fun job at all if you guys are wanting to do your headliner it actually really sucks putting it back in just a, a warning but um no we're going to be switching out the laramie um uh, regular glove box we got and we have the longhorn box and then we are putting the longhorn dash in which is right here and this is our little heater and then we have the uh side pieces that gotta go on where are those guys sorry those guys go in the back I get those on and then um, still some visors and some small things in the front to button up here so um, yeah we're gonna get the tunes going here and um, try and get some of this stuff back in the truck and hopefully just get it ready so it's just carpet left over um, to finish on this thing so uh, yeah we'll do a little time lapse here and uh, we'll keep working and I'll show you guys what's going on So we got the new dash bezel in. This is the Longhorn bezel. So as you can see, it's kind of got the darker pattern, similar to what we had before, but um, has the darker pattern in it, which is nice. Um, and we actually have buttons that don't get stuck because uh, the other ones kind of got stuck in when you press the buttons. But um, anyway, if you guys are going to be taking apart this dash and switching out the bezel, uh, what you want to do is just use a flathead or a pry tool and pop off this uh, plastic piece around your 115 volt plug. And there's going to be a, I think it's a 10 mil bolt behind here. And then up here, there's two bolts. Uh, I think they're 10 bolt or 10 mil as well. Um, and then just use a pry tool and you're just going to pry around this edge. This will pop off. And then all you got to do is switch out um, this row here, this row here, your uh, four-wheel drive button 
um, and that said the screen stays and then you've got plugs and harnesses um, to power this power your HVAC and then power the HVAC controls and all this video is a part one I probably will and then I'll do a part two which is going to be finishing up the interior so that's going to be the carpet seats um, probably the cluster will be in that video too so I'll probably upload this video now just so you guys can uh, see the progress um, because I have to order the carpet it's about 800 bucks so it's going to be a bit before I can actually order it and install it um, so this will be part one, I guess, of this build series on the interior. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do a part two, probably sometime in March, part two will come out. And then uh, we'll have a Longhorn Dually. So uh, hopefully you guys like this video and stay tuned for part two.